Yes, I'm confident. Uh, yeah, mostly. Uh, and uh, my teams, they are the players who will score. They come in a position, and so finally, uh, in in the last part, it's also about uh, say the freedom from a player, the intuition, uh, the the space they have to take. And when they have that feeling, then you will see players um, when they are have the talent, when they have the potential, they will score that number of goals. And I think we have in our squad, we have we have the players who can score that number of goals. But um, we get also divided uh, because we have many goal scorers um, across the whole offensive department. Um, but I think also you need also something from midfield and defending department. Ian. Eric, you've got a really important week now in the Premier League with three matches back to back against against tough rivals. What difference does that goal from Scott make to your build up to that week? I go always from game to game, and um, it gives another uh, impulse on the team uh, to the to the belief. I think uh, that uh, the spirit is already good, but it will uh, give a push. Um, in that spirit again, and it will strengthen the belief in the squad. And but for the rest, yeah, you uh, we have to go for game to game. And uh, well, yeah, um, we going to be tough opponents, but uh, really, we are really looking forward. There are really tests for us, uh, for us as as a squad, to to go in their battles. And as I say, it uh, delivers energy. How highly do you rate Newcastle? They do really well. Uh, um, I think it's a team who can play in, in high intensity uh, with a lot of energy. Um, so that's uh, that makes it uh, a tough opponent. And we know we have to play our best to get the right result. Eric, we've, we've seen a couple of midfield combinations. Obviously, the likes of Jota and Ericsson, Fred. Tommy all, all combining. Do, do you know what your, your strongest midfield pairing is? Mm, difficult to say in this moment. Huh? Then they have to play longer together. Uh, but what's important, once again, we, have, we need a squad. And if you say, I think Fred played a good game huh? to the, uh, tonight. And it was really well that he in the, in the counter press uh, wins, a, wins a lot of balls. Unluckily, he didn't score the goal. Huh? It was a really good move from him. And, and then the, uh, received the chip ball and not scoring the header. Uh, that, uh, and that is that, that's all a kind of impact you have to, to give to the team. Uh, but I think we have some combinations and it's about in the midfield always about balance. And... Um, so I'm happy with all four, and I hope they, they keep going in this way. Here and here. Uh, Eric, Marcus Rashford maybe could have scored four goals tonight. There was some good goalkeeper, also maybe not so good finishing. What, what can you say to him about his performance just to, to improve? Yeah. <laughs> he did a lot of things well, but finally, huh? um, and he knows that he has to be more clinical and he had to score a goal. Uh, that um, um, when you have such good movements, you make such good combinations, you have so good um, good actions, uh, then um, uh, you have to, to finish. But I know sometimes it's the game, it's not your, your night, and it's about uh, so the form of the day, but it can change uh, to another game, uh, because I think he's in a really good run, and that, that proves at the chances he creates. Uh, and now he's two games, he's a little bit unlucky. Uh, Sunday he deserves a goal, uh, what they cancelled. Today he didn't score, and maybe it was more by himself. So, but I say, save it for coming week. Yeah. Can, can we just check on team news for Sunday, Eric, especially Maguire and Martial? And if they're not ready for Sunday, do you have any idea when they will be ready? Um, Anthony Martial um, can be, but we have to wait how it develops coming uh, coming hours. And Harry Maguire uh, will not make this, but um, but it, uh, it doesn't take long, I think. Weeks, a couple of weeks for Harry. No, no, no. I, I think that the next week 
he will he will be back in the team training or over next week. Just wanted to talk about yeah. no, Simon. Uh, can I just ask about Anthony? Obviously, he scored in his first three Premier League matches since joining, but it feels like there's more to come from him. What, what can United fans expect from him? Uh, develop development, and I think you we have seen a few now from his um, uh, dribble capabilities, his speed, uh, his finishing, uh, also creating. Um, but now also he has to work on, on more variation and, um, and he is a player who can adapt quickly to a high level and is a player who likes challenges and he needs the challenges and um, yeah, every, every training for him is a challenge, every, uh, 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 every game is a challenge and that, um, that will make the best out of him and uh, he likes that and so uh, I think there's really a lot of space for improvement with him, but I think he's already in a really good level when you are uh, the first player from, uh, who scored in three um, in a row, three goals for Man United and in, in all history. That already shows his potential. Okay, last question. No, the, the next three games are obviously against top six clubs in the Premier League. Have the FA give you any guidance as to when there'll be an outcome on Cristiano's charge and whether he will be available for all those three games? No, uh, I don't know when it's um, um, when the defence when that will will be, and so we don't have a timeline.